here and welcome back to the great Ace Detective Chronicles Part 12, oh boy Alright, uh, sorry for the lack of updates on this, uh, let's play I've been really busy, uh With that said, as a late, but as, as Right now We're gonna continue to the to be continued hits I'll say this, the fifth cases on these things are extremely long um, and I guess this is about as long. She, that's why I hate grown-ups. Oh, Dina. All I do is feed a pack of lies and take stuff away from you. Oh, really? I'm slow still. That's right. Tell me, is this old coat keep, keep giving you one? What? Oh, my, surely you were given that. Yeah. D let, yeah, the D let me keep it after I got after I looked daggers at him I'm looking <sighs> at him we're looking for long enough he went through, through the pockets and said go on then have it before taking telling me to, to scrape her just damn yeah. always pay off giving people a lot like that you like that um, I can help you feel that this is going to get you into serious trouble on me. What I really wanted to say was that night, shining this mind. Music box, yes. But, but Mr. Winbait said it's practically worthless. I think I'm gonna go have another bash. I should give him what's there. I think I'm just less straight. We should have had Andrew's. St. Andrew oh, went banks again today. Oh, I know, that's not fair. It can't be helped, I'm afraid. The police are investigating the scene now and take a statements from Mr. Windbank. Windbank. Uh, this is mine. I had the ticket for the coat, and it was in the coat pocket. There should be something else, something else, um, and all. That's what not. Um, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, he did mention something about another article, didn't he? Well then, that's mine it too. Now she's really pushing her luck. It's the straight. I think it's time to admit you had your haul for a day. Uh, yeah, and it's your fault, Shorms. <sighs> so, what are your plans now? Oh, are you going for something? Oh, eh. I mean, is this would be like cook. It, and it might be starting to be honest with them, I hope. Not to. Oh. Uh, why would I. Eh? Have you lost her? Eh? Uh, so, here she's gone. Oh, there she's gone. Um, having revealed me. I mean. Quite unnecessary. I might add. I can't help but wondering. But wondering. As she perhaps may turn up anyway. Interesting. Once she had um, the con had a chance to calm down, I think there's a good chance she'll decide to come. <sighs> Very well then. I'll form my artist instead of potential. So, so and one more thing. I should be glad of your company later. Sorry. I believe I rather I have a rather splendid surprise to show you. Oh, how is that game? What is it? You shall have to wait and see, Miss so Miss Sosato. Until then, later. Ugh.
15th of April, 3.46 p.m. Oh, so I'm sweet. I was just eating, we know. Come in, come in. Good afternoon, Iris. Thank you so much for breakfast this morning. Oh, don't mention it. Goodness. Look at the time already. Busy as always? I am. I am preparing everything for dinner this evening already. You're obviously cooking something special, are you? Oh yes, after all, we have a special guest joining us. Just who is on it? Hey, uh, ah, okay. Oh dear. It's awkward when you already know the answer, isn't it? Nini, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a surprise. Yes, that's wonderful news. I was just enjoying an idea. I can't wait to learn something. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yes, that does sound quite fun. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely appropriate, are you? That's not a bad, by the way, Iris. Let me see someone's up too. Oh, like Harley? Oh, he's been like that ever since he got back. Uh oh. Well, oh, Mr. Sean. Did he? I bet that you won't speak to me. Uh oh. This whole thing I'm is violent. Oh, yeah. I don't know what. Ah, uh, this thing. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. I apologize. When you get. That that seems completely oblivious to everything. Yes, I see. Really? He's been aiming like, like a child sometimes. He really does. Mr. Shams and Iris something of a parent and child relationship, don't they? Yes, except that Iris is clearly the parent here. Touche! Yeah, poor Tegan. Come to think of it, I wonder where her real parents are. What is the matter, Renault? Have you, you have a very such funny look on it. Oh no, no, it's nothing. I, I know what it is. Why does a girl you're wondering, you how did you? <laughs> oh no, you, I can read you like a book. Uh, this girl's dangerous, you don't say. Don't worry, you didn't ask me anything, I don't mind. Oh. Jeannie? So by the way, Jeannie, you mean Miss Lestrade. A young woman from the McGilda crate, McGilda crates two months ago. Yeah, who stole my experiment smoke grenade launcher? Although after the trial, I brought her back here, her and we dined, had dinner together, and we had we were the best friends. I want to call the best of friends. <laughs> yes, now if I bump into her on the street, she runs away as fast. Yeah, yeah, I would call that a mess of friends. <laughs> oh, I guess I have to chase her down the back of Interesting idea of friendship. Uh, and I have to let her go by his color smoke grenade go. I have to, oh, there's so many beautiful colors in the world. Janie wants to make a rainbow. I suppose this means you. Uh, let's try to keep the smoke grenade launcher of you. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I got bored of it anyway. Hurley always reach, reacts the same way when I shoot him. Uh, oh, poor Hurley. <laughs> I can't wait for Gina to arrive. It's been too long since she last came over. So I'm so excited. I just hope she does actually come. Oh, Mr. Solons. I'm sure you've been wondering why is it I've lived here with Hurley after you? Well, it's crossed my mind that and were you were real parents. Only <sighs> they aren't with me anymore. Huh? Only passed away when I was born. <laughs> Around the same time, my father, well, he had to go far away the land because none, because one of those cases he and Hurley had were working on. 
Oh, wait a minute. Did you say he's Anne Hurley? Yes. Sally and Hurley were always all her mysteries together. She didn't mention that before. You gotta know what I'm say. He wrote them all in his diaries. That is, that's what the metal kit is over there. Really, he recorded them all. So, you mean it's true? Is there songs? Look, they have a partner who backle those taxi cases. Oh yes, and I mean that it's always nice to have one, isn't it? So Mr. Sean's partner was your father. Exactly. Hurley told me I, was, I wasn't allowed to look in the chest. But that only made me want to look even more, so I opened it. And I found my father's memoirs. Yeah, so I asked Hurley who wrote these, and he nearly fell out of his chair. But he told when he then he told me that's when I then when I found out that the author of these account all these accounts was my father. So Iris's father was Mr. Stone's partner. Your father. I've had to live with Hurley all my life. I was tiny when he took me in. So it came quite a shock when Hurley told me he wasn't really my daddy, I mean. It must, it must have, must have been, must have done. It must have done. I wonder why Mr. Solomon's chose to tell you uh, at such a young age. Hurley says it's because he wouldn't have been able to hide it from him. Oh? Well, I'm having, well, living with Mr. With Hurley all, all these years, you might say his way of rubbed off on me. Those are some things I just see. Especially lies. I don't always do when people are lying before they open their mouths sometimes. Right. Anyway, I was so fascinated with one of our daddy's diaries. That's why it's part of me right. The Avengers of Herlock Holmes, actually. I've always assumed her uh, Mr. Holmes Simply told you all those fat villain stories. Oh no, Hurley's hopeless like that. Oh boy. He forgets everything. As soon as he solves a case, it's all but banished from his mind. That sums up almost every case so far. Oh, I see. The other day, it was so embarrassing. As usual, he totally forgot about the case he just solved. So, the very next day, he gathered all the people. Evolve and proceed to solve the case again. It's quite a shopper. You say that again. You do share your father's surname, don't you, Iris? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, send Daddy Dr. John H. Plus. Whoa, hello! Wait a minute. That name does sound familiar. Admit from the dark. Admit from his dark diaries that his that he's a doctor of medicine, you see. That's what prompted me to study, so I could learn the doctrine as well. Iris's father, who went to same distant land, to some distant land, and I it was a doctor of doc no. Yep. Yep, there we go. That's right, visiting professor of medicine of the Imperial UMC University. Ian Andrew was most bizarre. He lost his life before we left Japan. Mr. Zotto? Yes? Perhaps we shouldn't pursue this conversation any further time. I think that would be fit for the best. Yeah, she knows oh, why. Ah, oh, my dear fellows, how good to see you. Oh, eat, Mr. Solmes. Uh, why do you not make up your present? Oh, cute face, Bob. <laughs> ah, well, it doesn't matter now. Uh, so, how the devil are you? Where have you been waiting for you most of the day? Oh, goodness, really? Is your violin safe? Uh, my violin? What 
you talking about? Is it not the disc? No, it's not another disc, Mr. Hawk. That's a disc from, uh. Oh. You took it, did you? Then, then, that, what's it doing here? <laughs> well, you know, at times, Mr. Nardo, I think I should have. I thought I have an undenied attempt turn of a detection. I may be even able to adapt at Larson. Uh, you know that's a crime, you know that, right? Oh, that was wonderful, exciting. I'd be your pickpocketing assistant. He did that, uh. I don't know. Our law. Where if we can get caught? Alright. Uh, uh, Susie's out of here. I don't know, she good. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend this conversation never happened, I think. Let's box this. I don't understand, Mr. Yeah, how did that disc come to your possession? I thought Inspector Gregson took it to Scotland Yard. Quite correct. And that sort of co uncompromised attitude is precisely why I always carry this. Carry some of this. That's a bar of camel, isn't it, Mr. Schultz? You're, you're one and only friend in time alone, unless I'm sure I'm mistaken. <sighs> I'll I humor you, my dear fellows. Guys your minds back to back when a good text will come to the disc. Oh I see where this is going. Yeah, so worse. Yeah. He didn't hand it, he kept it. I had the disc in my hand, didn't you? Yes, he did. But I still don't understand. I got it. It was precisely that moment I summoned another. My only friends into action. The I pressed the disc into a pair of like this. That's, that's amazing. Wow. The disc in all men men's skill made an, an image of in camel. Indeed, this caramel is quite exceptional. It's developed myself. It's suitable suitability soft to make impressions, but resistant to metal to melting. And my the result is precisely controlled solution. And here goes the bleed sitting point soon. How extraordinary. Carrying that pair these pair on you one's person frequently proves the fate very useful indeed. Take a house key, for example. That's simply press, and its unique form is duplicate. Well, I have a feeling this is gonna come up at some point. I can enter any property, anyone's property at will, and never went out a high uh, sorrows of nourishment. Okay, so that's how he appears in every single uh, room if I had to take a wild guess. Yes, it sounds illegal. <laughs> well, from the image, it, it was all I was able to break this. Yes. I confess, I was most curious about to know what matter of music would be issued from the disc when I play it. When I play it. Who's got a disc? Do you tell us that, my Mr. Holmes? What does music does it play? Well, unfortunately, I have no idea. No idea. None whatsoever. Are you familiar with the workings of a music box, my fellow fellows? No, I'm afraid not. Your greatness, you don't know about me? Inside the music box, there's a specific metal called a comb. That's 
produces the sound. Oh, this is an old school music box. The, uh, the small, uh, if you punch it, pluck the different teeth out of the comb to rotate past, making the different notes. First, the music boxes was to be invented by use rotating cylinders for process. There's actually a few still to this day, actually. Um, last I remembered, I remember seeing a few. No. But over time, a new type of player has produced in which uses discs such as these. But the development by the popularity of music boxes spread far and wide all around the globe. Why exactly? Because the discs are rare, are easy to produce and can be in interchanged means to fa uh, facilitate the playing of different tunes. There is a great month there are a great many farms uh, in Europe now manufacturing music boxes as a result. It's wonderful to be able to enjoy music, even when no performing performer is present. But in a very way, it is very success of invention. That means we are now presented with an instrument and for insurmountable problem. What do you mean? You said, as you say, the image is Im and it's a image that constructs one form of music box does not match the other. And we have no way of knowing which music box in particular this disc was belong to to play be played. There's no resolution. This is a pro it's a pro it's to the problem, I'm afraid. I'm quite uninteractable. Ah, oh, I see. So that's why. Naturally I tested the disc on a few music boxes I have in my disposal. That would explain the gloom and doom there. As you can hear, to know though. This is quite a satisfactory of one. So, I'm pretty engaged, presently engaged in the acquired, for example, of the music box that remains in Europe. Every single, every single one. That's yeah, hurling for you. I was talking about taking things too far. You don't say, Aris. You don't say. Uh, my dear girl, and I saw Riddle is quite the project for consideration. But surely all diff all different types of in Europe will all mount a huge volume of bo music box, won't it? Mm, yes, that's certainly true. In the worst case. I still have to ask you to vacate the attic room. Really? What? And now Mr. McGilded. That's McGilded. Not a name I expect to hear again so soon. Yes, it's only been two months since that grizzly case. Nice. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be brought up again? Mr. my gilded prayers within hours of the trial conclusion. What is the what is it? The curse of the reaper? No one knows. Still, the omnibus was for Dean of Pile of Ash, and no shred of evidence remained. And with the man's death, the truth about the murder in which he was immediately involved was burned. Even though we successfully established Mr. Uh, McGilda's innocence in the trial, the newspapers are still claiming every amazing unsolved case. Yeah. The murder of the Breaker Man, um, Three Faced Manson. And in the end, the truth of the matter remains a mystery. We still have no idea what happened. And really happened that night. And 
Although Mr. Gilda was found not guilty though through my defense, I still don't know if that was the right judgment or not. It would appear the case is not yet closed. Oh, it's time to start getting things ready for dinner, I think. Jenny would be here before long. If she, thank you, Iris. Oh, well, let me help you then. Of course, Susie. Then there's plenty to do. Must all be investigation the conditions of my faithful performance partner, of course. Now then, where did I leave it? Let this be a lesson to you, Mr. Solomon. Never leave anything too precious with the prom rocker. Mm, yes, you must be right. Oh, that reminds me of something Miss, uh, Mr. Wonderbus said just before. He said that he had a manuscript of Iris's pawn. Iris is in pawn, didn't he? Did he? Yes, he's definitely mentioned it. Mr. Solomon's is later so tell of otherwise of otherworldly mystery lies the dorm in the store where his words believe. So you heard about that, did you? I expect you were insist as I was. Oh yes, indeed, there was a wonderful story of language and wizardry. A story around gathered at dusk. My dear madame, I'm quite sure I told you already. The pawnbroker's store room is the safest place for it. Plus, more secure than the bank's vault. And what about your star to and Stradivarius, and what about your Stradivarius, Hurley? Was that safe and secure? Touche! <laughs> uh, well, there may be an occasional mix-up. More like a, an occasional uh, mix-up. More like you for uh, just mistaken it. Or uh, caused by a, 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 by a certain imputous someone that not too far from me now. Oof. Do you know, have any idea how long it took me to write that, Baker, uh, that Bakersfield story, Hurley? Oh, sounds exciting. How the ba Baskervilles? Oh, so I want to read. Read? It. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh-oh. There's something. She said something. Ah. What's going on here? I feel like I just left down in the room. Susie, what did you just say? You said Hound of Baskervilles? But how can you know the full title? Well, that's... That's because Mr. Cesado, it says fan of Cesado. Oh, it says a great fan of the story, says Mr. Holmes. But Bruno, the Hound of Baskervilles has never been published. What? Uh oh. When I saw Holy Leader Masker, he told me I wasn't allowed to publish it yet. I don't understand. That's why he said that he keep it safe. Until it was the right time for the stories to be made public, you see. So that's why the manuscript ended up with that man Banks. And yet, how could Susie know the title? Uh, its title? Well, Hurley, what's going on? He said it. He mentioned it. Uh, what is it, Mr. Holmes? It appears our guest has arrived. Huh. That's less straight. This is, was a bad idea. I knew I, I weren't welcome. I'm going. Oh wait, Miss Lestrade. Wait, we've all been eagerly awaiting your arrival. <sighs> we have one, Iris. 
Oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Well, I think I'm back. <laughs> Quickly. Oh, right, oh, right. Oh, I'll right. see you again, my flashlight. Please make yourself at home. Oh, yeah. I don't stand in the doorway, my girl. Come on. I say it's some... Oh, oh. 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 Hey, you mean Iris prepared us a meal that was delicious more than usual. Even Sean's violin performance was uh, no way meddlesome. <laughs> and Gina, as we came to call her, taught us how to steal things off another without being noticed. Everyone thoroughly enjoyed themselves while that into the night. Oh boy. Fifteenth of April. Nine forty five thirty four PM. Wow. That was a very enjoyable evening, wasn't it? I guess Iris' cooking was truly divine. I feel as though I still can hear the enchanting strains of Mr. Scholl's violin. <laughs> That's all. I could steal the glasses from his lordship face. Oh, don't do that. <sighs> and there's another design. Can I consult with you about something? I wonder what's the matter. She's awesome. It's about the telegram I received. Ah, there's that one thing arrived the first thing in the morning, I suppose. I've... I've been summoned. What? Summoned? What do you mean? The telegram was for... Uh, was from the Lord Chief Justice office. Uh, Lord Strong had asked me to see me. Lord Chief Justice? When? Tomorrow morning. What? Then? Then we'd have to start preparing at once. Oh no, that won't be necessary, Mr. Naruto-san. <sighs> I've been summoned alone. Alone? What on earth for? I have no idea. I suppose I'll still find out tomorrow. What is this about? All about? Whatever it is. Makes me feel very uneasy. Oh boy. Oh, who could that be, I wonder? Good evening, friends. Ah, uh, Iris. Hello again. Ah, oh, hi, Gina. Oh, Gina, too. Yes, Gina's staying stay the night with us. She's going to sleep with me. That's not right, I ain't. Well, yeah. Oh, lovely. Let's make a vlog tea. <sighs> oh, you know, I've learned so much today. <laughs> oh, what it in particular. All oh, those things Gina showed us. It was a wonderful eye. You mean the pickpocketing technique? Well, we had fun trying them out on each other, didn't we? I think. Yeah, every weekend a natural attack at talent, I could have earned a living to it. Uh, you might getting ahead of yourself a little there. There. Uh, so what brings you up to the home corners this late hour anyway? Well, you see, I came to return. Okay, how did she take it? <laughs> oh my, whatever do you... I told you, didn't I? Oh boy. I'm a natural talent for this. Oh yes, I forgot. <laughs> Iris is literally a child genius. How did she take it and we didn't notice? I don't know, I was looking at the evidence several times I still her. Oh, here you can have it. I'm not really understand why you were, though. Ah, oh, thank you. Alright then, good night. Yes, good night. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. So this is your office, huh? 
What do you think, eh? Aww. I think it wouldn't be fair seeing me with a lawyer or whatnot lives in this place like this. Well, we do have me too. <laughs> oh boy. I see it's as though Iris is here. I still have something you seem to like to talk about. I suppose she probably wants us to talk about the manuscript. Yes, I suppose he probably does. Manuscript. Iris, I... I suppose you're helping to talk about the manuscript, aren't you? <sighs> aren't you going to tell me? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I need a little more time, please. <sighs> Alright, I understand. I hope you haven't made me feel awkward. You feel awkward. No, not at all, Iris. Not at all. <sighs> I don't know what it's really about, but... <sighs> it's a story you made up. Is it, Iris? This manuscript, or whatever you call it. It's not really a story I made up. It's something I read from in Daddy's diary. Daddy's? That's right. I don't know. I don't suppose I've mentioned to you about Nina, but my daddy's Hurley's assistant wants his partner. Eh? They solved strange mysteries cases together. Is that right, mister? Yeah, apparently so. It was a surprise to us as well. And Daddy wrote all the stories in detail, every single case down to it in his diary. So I studied him and read my stories based on what I read. Happened. So where's your old man now then? He had to go away on Earth to spend his far away land. He's been gone for a very long time, so I've never really met him. Oh right. Come to think of it. I don't know anything about Gina's parents either. Perhaps we should ask her? The House of Bakersfield. Iris, the House of Bank. The Hound of Bakersfield. I think it's another story tale inspired by your father's accounts. That's right. I thought it was fascinating. It's a difference somehow. On the other cases, I mean. Oh, how? I don't really know. There, but it must be special in some way. But after I had written it, I showed the manuscript to Hurley. He turned it as white as a sheet. It was the first time I ever seen him like that. It pains me to say this, yet you toddled, toiled over it so long. But the story must not be published at this time under any circumstances. But why not? It's one of my best works. I'm, so, I'm not at liberty to say not now. Please. Please don't ask me. <sighs> Alright. I won't. So I, I do solemnly swear that it will, I will find everything in... One day, Iris, when the time is right. And that's how I found the manuscript to come be the, with, uh, Windebanks, isn't it? Yes. Really said it had to be somewhere safe. That's really just my goat, does it? Is it the treat of the child? I mean, that's what it is. Keeping it safe like that? Uh, I'm not sure Mr. Solomon isn't trying to be mean. And as if he said he was a liberty to talk about, I'm sure there must have been a good reason. I think so too. <sighs> you lot are trusting for a good friend. But you can't pull over my eyes. Anyway. Psalms is lying to ours. I've got my life on it. What? Harley's lying to me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 
New York or anything, you know. I ain't got any, have I? Never did have. Oh. <sighs> Look, the Eastern and full of orphans like me. No one wants nothing to do with us from the minute we were born. Not even the moms. Our moms. Uh, we're all stick together. And the older one, the older ones look after the little ones to make sure they get by. Oh, so you're, so that's why you're pickpocketing. Dang. Ah, uh, divine my life, I love it. I get kick out of it. I left some pompous idiots first. <sighs> and that's why I hold it. Before all, we all afford to eat. I like Robin Hood, odd I, odd, ain't I? That's I always see it. Oh, do you know? I don't think about sometimes what it would like to be a parent, have a parent I mean, I was thought I, I, I make every, it'll make everything right. But I've listened to words Iris says. Sounds like having parents ain't always easy, eh? They're, oh. I mean, if you, you never had them, you don't feel like you always wanted to meet them. It's true. I don't want to see, I do want to see you so much. Oh, Iris. What do I mean with his lie? You know, what do you mean? I said that you missed your soul slide. Well, I reckon pop that manuscript or whatever, right? <sighs> but come on, it's obvious as a love. Why? Why would you think that, do you? It's simple. If that story was really, but, uh, early in the old, uh, old Mitsurum, there's no, no, there's no way someone. And after the way around the world, with, in the world with words for I can't. <sighs> ah. I'm sorry, Iris, but if you ask me, he sold it. What have he told you? I'm telling you. But I really would never do something like that, I'm sure of it. Huh. <sighs> Grown ups are a lot of worse. That's. <sighs> that, believe me, both of us liars, a lot of them. Uh, you just ain't realized it yet. Ah, uh, he has a point on some point. I'm, I'm telling ya, the, the mental script ain't out Williamsburg. You'll soon see me if you look at it. Even if you can't trust them, I don't. That song's a, a song. If I'm honest, I wonder if Hurley's telling me the truth sometimes. See? Oh, I don't mean it like that he sold it. I mean, there's something I wonder if he's hidden in my manuscript somewhere. Somewhere I don't know. Even though it's wrong for me to doubt him. I don't believe it's hard. I don't, don't be artist, Harvest. Uh, oh boy. My goodness. Look at the time. Well, let's come on, Lodini. We should get back downstairs. Yeah, alright. And please don't mention this Hurley, don't you? Oh, yeah, no, of course not. Good night, Cyrus. Good night, Gina. Ah, I am. Hi, sis. Yes, please. I am. Good night, then. Iris is sure easy to forget, isn't it? Sometimes she speaks like an adult, but deep down, she's still just a child. <sighs> well, I think it's time for the night, too, Miss New Naruto son. And. Dr. Chan H. Wilson, Iris' father, but also the name of the murder. Visiting professor at Yumi University. That can't be mere coincidence. There's something deeper going on. Oh. 
Mr. Nardo. Mr. Nardo. That voice. That song. What's going on? I'm. A, it's the middle of the night. It's Miss Lestrade. She's gone. Gina. She was supposed to be sleeping in Iris' room, but her bed is empty. Well, she is an independent woman. She's probably decided to go home now. I think not. From speaking to her before she retired, I received a distant think, impression that she was looking forward to breakfast from Mrs. Otto. No, I don't believe the girl has gone home. But there, but I've been waiting um, for over an hour now. Over an hour. Oh, if you're indulge me, look out the window, my dear fellow. She went out. What's that about? Wait a minute. The lights are on at the night. At um, one of Vex Palm Brokery. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. There's no way someone. She went to find it. But we have gone. It seems that you know the situation. Sorry. Oh no. No, not really. Well, anyway, I must invest. We must investigate at once. This is not up. This is not good. Sixteenth of April, one forty-five. One. Wow, we didn't sleep really that long. The door of the wind banks. It opened. It opened. And the lamp's burning. That must be Gina, must it? Let's hope nothing is more insistent. What? Come, there's not the room to lose. There's clearly something afoot inside. There's no one in here. Oh yes, there is. Ah, Mr. Solomon's, Mr. What the? Mr. Uh, Solomon's, Mr. Solomon's. There you go. What's in there? But, after I go, right. Glass. I lost some. Uh, hello, who are we here? Uh, alarm was raised at the front. Sir, where did you guys also? Oh, oh, sir. It's my friend, Mr. Shot. He's my shot. What? Shot. Hot. But the policeman is close behind me. I ran back in the wind banks. <gasps> Mr. Jones! Mr. Narado! How bad is it? Never mind me, but there's much at stake. Behind that door! Uh. In the storeroom. Uh. Hurry! Uh. No, this is bad. This is bad. Well, there goes the neighborhood. <sighs> you know what? We have time. We'll continue till the uh, next to be continue, uh, which will be probably the draw. Hi, 
behind that door in the store. Hurry. Ah. It's Gina. This is bad. From that moment, one bank's pawn burglary became a crime scene. Everything that followed happened when the world went into activity. The arrival of the police, the, per the preliminary investigation of the scene, and questioning. It was just before dawn before I was allowed back to my lodging at 21B. Jesus Christ. Oh, Iris. A telegram came, but it also says, way to home. Oh, yes, we've asked the police. And they have said it. It simply is possible to come back. When I woke up, I was all alone. Hillary and Gina were gone. Everyone was gone. What happened, Reno? Oh, Iris. She's trembling. She's obviously trying hard not to let herself get word to her. Yeah, I'll explain everything that I know. Something awful will happen, hasn't it? Uh, yep. Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh. Events out the way of me. Oh. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Iris, but it was. Mr. Wonderbanks is dead. He was shot. We discovered it early in the morning. Oh, yes, I had a feeling he did. When I saw the police carriage pulling up outside his shop, I knew something must have happened there. When we entered a small hours, we just disturbed a gang of two thugs. The, they ran out onto the streets and I chased after them, but they got out of the way. So that's... Uh, it was one of them who shot Mr. Wildbanks, I suppose. I don't know, but that's not what the police believe at the moment. Oh, why not? They arrested someone else as their process of so see Gina. Genie? What? Why? Well, the thing is... No, then he wouldn't have done something like that. I know, I know. None of us think she did it. Then why they have her arrested? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. Now, Mr. Sean says, so where's Harley then? Is he still investigating their scene? He really ought to be have some breakfast. It's not good for him to miss a meal. I don't want it to be worse, but I have some news about Soames. He was taken to the hospital this morning. What? Well, um, when we entered the wood bank, a gun was fired and he took a bullet. Pearly, he was shot. No. It's alright. His life isn't in danger. Really? Are you sure? Where is he? At the first hospital. He's at the St. Steiner's. They attend to him now. I must see him at once. Sorry, Harris. But he can't. Why not? They're considered. I'm a family member. I should be allowed. No, I mean, nobody can see him at the moment. He's not allowed any visitors. They are they preparing to operate, you see. To operate? Oh, poor Harley. His injuries. There was two thugs who were in Winbank's own shop. They shot Mr. Sholmes when they disturbed him. Them, I see, you see. Oh, boy. It was pitch black at the time. My mind was mentally blank, totally blank. I'm afraid I must just froze. I cannot go. I went after him on the streets, but, well, they were long on. I shouldn't have hesitated. 
I'm sorry, it's my fault. I let him get away. I think... I think that's a very good part. Well, if you've seen... If you've seen them... Seen which way they went... And chased after them... You might have been shot as well. So I know. He has a point. She has a point. On top of everything else, I... Couldn't bear it. Oh, Iris. This is all the situation. Where's Susie, Bruno? She's still at the police station. Oh, why? I expect she's being questioned. The police said they wouldn't be able to be finished for a while. Aren't you there then? Well, I didn't get a go like the criminal anyway, so they were questioning me from Mark Preston. Mr. Son Mr. Son stayed behind. I just seen the 10 Mr. Son, so they didn't get to start. And it started until later. Ah, oh, I see. Besides, none of us had to come back with ours. I'm glad Inspector Gregson agreed to leave me to leave early. You should have let me know. I would have came to the station. Ah, Gina's arrest. I don't understand why they arrest Gina. It's not fair. What about this? After all, oh, I couldn't. No, I mean, Mr. Solomon is a dead. Ah, oh, this is a so horrible. Thing is, Mr. Williams was found some sort of. He's deposited, deposited in her. In the storeroom, it was locked up from the house inside. I see. But he wasn't alone in there. Gina was found next to him on the floor as well. Oh no. And according to the detectives who investigated the awkward, it's don't tell me. There was no one else in the room. Yep. Yes, exactly. How do you know? If that's the only explanation, yes. The only explanation, indeed. Then, what do you mean by that, Runa? Well, uh, well, I can't. Like I say, if I'm damned, if I agreed, damned if I don't. I'm afraid I need to go out again, Iris. There's too much, not much I can do at the moment. I can at least try to find how Mr. Soames and Gina are getting on. I want to go too. Take me with you, man. I can't stand sitting around waiting. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Taking a 10 year old child to a Santa Mara, but I don't want to leave her home alone here either. All right then, Iris. Perhaps you can help me. Oh yes, I left it. Gina is at prison. Mr. Soames is probably at the hospital bed. And don't forget, we have to visit the crime scene. I mean, we need to conduct a thorough investigation. Ah, oh, I can see you're already ready for action. I imagine Iris would appreciate it going to the hospital sooner than later. Yeah, let's head there first. Let's head there first. See how so Mr. Stones is doing. He's not here. No, that's strange. The nurse definitely said he was in bed on the window, didn't he? Oh, I knew he probably would have. I was being a big baby and more in the left. And the bullet wound wasn't that bad after all. Hmm. I'm not sure about that, baby or not. There's no question. There's fair, that was fairly a serious injury Mr. Sean suffered. And how? Hello, hello, what do we have here? Uh, the word of the pharmacy is left. No visitors, what are you doing here? Oh, I mean, no. Where are these guys? Oh, 
Well, beg your pardon, and that's an answer. A little lady and a curious answer gentleman. He may may miss yourself or as a mysterious family. That's how you see it, huh? Sure. Where's where is he, Thomas Well Harley? I believe he's currently in the operation there. I mean, I'm going to extensive operation. Extensive? There's, it's been several hours since we went in. Oh dear, he's going to be able to be alright. Well, well, that doesn't appear to be working, you see. The anesthesia, it, it, Oh, I heard reports a gentleman claims that he may have, uh, may have had a little too much to drink last night. Coffee, that is. Oh, well, he had no idea he was going to be under anesthesia. Anyway, I think it'd be fair to assume he won't be back for enough several hours. I see. Thank you, Constable. Please, perhaps we should come back a little later. Oh, poor Hurley. idea about the likes of me. I'm a thief. I pinch, I pinch people for services as when they're walking down the street. Uh, that's odd. That was odd. Get odd. If I saw my chance, I'd sneak into the pawn shop any day of the week. Just see what I could may lay my hands on. Get it? That's not that person. What? Me? I'll be in court. Tomorrow, I said. Some come can buy and said I said he's gonna be a lawyer for me. Like I said, I ain't right. I told him to get stuff. I need no lawyers. No one does. I, she shouldn't grant. She's staring at me. Obviously, she's so mad. Why are you being like this, genie? Citation. I don't understand, Jane. Why would you not want to prove the thing up? It wanted me to sign some paper for representation stuff or something like that. I. It's all gonna get me rigged right, even anyway, the whole trial. They'll pin me because I'm, I'm a kid. That's what grown ups always do. Why do you think that? Because that's all, always been for me, groaning, growing up, back in the slums, my whole life. If you don't want it, yeah. Uh, 
it'll get your mates dragged off by the coffers or worse. And I've had that happen to me before and all. But in sold out nearly snuffed back at it. You couldn't trust no one at that point, so as you do, you're gone as fast as that. You know, I listen. If you're like tomorrow, I get it, Jamie. Don't you? Uh, I don't. Look, if I ask you nicely now, just leave me alone. What happened? Oh, I guess it's like all wrong with this one. There's nothing to tell. I figured it, it paid me to break into the place that started going through the storm, but the old bloke walked in on me, you know, as a rest. But why, Jamie? Why would he do that? Man, obvious, the place is full of stuff to sell. And living it ain't easy, you know. Oh, a lot of work and half of the time you don't get nothing. Is that really why you broke into the place? What? Are you sure the true reason wasn't something else? Oh, give it a press. What is possibly my age? I'm gonna say, nothing. He's telling us, Jeannie. He'll believe you, whatever it is. Believe me, don't daft. Don't be daft. You can't. You know. I'm the liars. I'm the biggest of the world. I told some unforgettable lies I have. What do you mean? I'm forgettable lies. Unforgivable eyes. What do you mean by I mean it's all a lot? What do you Sorry, we're out of time. There are gonna be questions now. Gee, please. Oh yeah. I wanted to give you this something to remember. Photograph of Frank. Oh, really? Uh, I found it in one of the pockets of this coat. Ain't some point me at it. I wonder what this little thing would look like. What's it doing in a pocket of the overcoat? Anyway, don't bother coming again. Hey. Oh, Hello. Look on the back of the print here. There's something written on it. The very deposit on some lot. Loan deposit. Ten shillings. Redemption on. A photograph of print redemption ticket on February 13. That would be significant. Just two days before the murder of the omnibus, wasn't it? A small box. Don't tell me how much. Not as much about the box, but who knows? If Mr. McGillard had to take it, then presumably he never redeemed it. So you think the box may be represent in the shop? Ah, yes. That's something Mr. McGillard needed is a need to investigate.
this is where it all happened today. Last night. That's right, two thugs I told you about were ransacking the place looking for valuables. But, apart from the policeman here, where should you know what happened? There's no sign of a servant. No, you're right. That, about that actually. In fact, if anyone that it's a policeman who should be seen the ones to be doing ransacking, I know what you mean. It's like the gang of organized criminals all dressed in black. Oh, I heard that. Oh, Inspector. Oh, Inspector. Um, good morning. I suppose you ought to thank you for your vigilance last night. We we got to the scene before it got to start police. <sighs> Shame you let the two rogues get away, mind. Yes, I'm sorry about that. I thought you were signing the extra men to beat around here. Finally, Oh, look what happened. Huey's been injured, and there hasn't was enough police on duty. Ah, uh, you, you are the largest lady. <laughs> I expected you to take full responsibility for what happened, Hurley. He, and see, he has been in better. Uh, oh, and I don't think the Grinnell's fault. Rogue managed to get away because in Down Grimmel's is a police job. Oh, and it's a little you. <laughs> oh boy. Then in the black, I is totally blameless. Unless anyone else is there. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. He's a completely different person. Talk about personality change. Oh, where's my <laughs> Oh, why? You dare see him? That sounds so horrible to you, but to me. Oh, God, I love this guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm liking, I'm already liking that person over. Ah, oh, lovely. Too dirty. Yeah. Uh, lovely. Oh, I don't even recognize how about this. Like this. I do something, but. Quickly by the lads on, on the beat. And Miss Lester is being held in the prison. She should be. That's assuming she hasn't lifted the key on the jailer, of course. Uh, of course. How's Mr. Solomon's doing? Can you tell us about Mr. Solomon? What is his condition? Sorry, I'm afraid I love her to divulge that information. Scotland Yard's matter of course, so like they're told. Oh, I know he's being operated out of Sam Saunders. How could you see him? 
Why can't I see him? I'm family, you know. Uh, I'm terribly sorry about what I'm saying, Chef. It's a hospital's policy. No visitor is visiting at all. Oh. The, the bullet must have an artery in his mid midriff. He's lost a fair amount of blood. Oh no. He didn't seem that bad in the first hour or so. But a hammer is like that is enough to make even one and the only Sholmes right now. Because he's almost as human like the rest of us, you know. Yes, well, he must have had an emergency surgery right now. Well, they gotta stop the bleeding, that bleeding. But he will be alright, won't he? They'll be able to make him better. Of course, your ladyship. He's be straight rain before you know it. Oh, Ellie, how do you know? Eh, how do you know? Well, because, uh, of course. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Chess, Mr. Jones is a very detective, but. Ah, I'm gonna pray. I need the doctor to have a better grasp of what's needed to make someone well again. <laughs> oh, dear. Please don't die, Hurley. Die, Hurley. I have a heart, Ellie, so at the moment I hear he's out offering oh, beer. Her ladyship. Oh, I couldn't help but notice, Inspector. What? Out with this, gentlemen. Oh, there seems to be a marked difference between what you're talking to me and ours. Uh, what is your sauce, honey? I'm a copper. We don't go at the favorite. Oh, that's right. Oh, he's where he did treat us differently. Oh, it's because of all those adventures of the Harlock Song stories. That's why. Oh? I crop him up. Uh, 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 I cop up, crop up him, um, don't I? Inspector Tobias Gregson. Oh, yes. Well, that's because uh, you're in a place of Hurley's. And you did write an inspector. Uh, inspector Harris. Hmm, I don't remember really. That was one of the Harlock Stone's lines. Okay, it's Marcus Gregson. Oh, I did write that. Uh, I don't know why you highlighted. Uh, <laughs> I tell you. Oh, that's amazing. It's all because of the everyone in the yard read all the hard songs. They all set up as a fan base for me. Oh, of course. That explains everything. It wasn't around. It was around that time you you came as such a totally to me. Can you blame me? Uh, I, all I take is from a bad word no, from you and Solon's good charge. Greg said, no, great detective, he said. I say, he will get the word these days. Ah, I think of what happened to my salary if that came out to the print. The, print. Ah, the whole thing gives me the willies. I can't tell you how many nights I've slept. I've lost worrying about it. But that would never be Greggy. Every month when the new rant magazine comes out, my hands tremble when I turn the page. Oh, how awful for you. Here, have some mint to eat, settle your nerves. <sighs> Gotta love this guy. Ah, oh, lovely. This tease tells so much. Thank you, Dad, it's fine, you know, What is that? An important message. I wonder what it could be. Important message. Are you going to tell me what is important message of then, Mr. Spectre? Yeah. It's about that young lady who normally by your side, your assistant. Um, dear Susie, is she alright? She's at the station, isn't she? In question, I believe. Nope, not anymore. She had to head off. Head off. Where? To Lord Stronghold's office, of course. He's under. Ah, of course. Yes, of course. I forgot about that. One of the uh, Whipstock um, took her, her the yard in yard carriage after he finished questioning her. But she has to tell us that she d don't have the flair for the return. 
journeys and said to go eat over there. He's got some nerves using Scotland Yard's blossom as my sister. I see. Well, thank you for passing it on, Spectre. She didn't tell me, but I better head over to the fetch. There anyway. Yes, no matter how many times I come here, I always get the same sense of a price to send them somehow. Do you think this place is so is oppressive? Uh, it, I think it's normal. It's how so? I mean, look at the suit of armors over there. Yeah. You can't take it seriously, can you? Maybe I think it's the same about you. Touche. Every so everyone thinks so clear is clear as regards to tomorrow's arrangements. I trust. Yes. Thank you very much. I wonder what they're talking about. They're both very serious. Very good. There's still nothing to discuss. You may return your last room. Okay. No doubt you have much to prepare for your return to your homeland. Wait. What did he just say? Your return to your homeland? Who's on the sign? Oh, oh, I'm missing an armor. What was that about? Ah, oh, Mr. Naruto. Thank you for coming to collect your call. What's this about? Why are you talking about Mr. Sodom returning to Rome? And, and tomorrow? Tomorrow? Well, what about Jesus? Oh, I mean. She's been formally charged for now. Oh dear. Sorry. Sasato, what's this about? Oh, please don't concern yourself, Miss Naruto. It's only me going back to Japan. Your life here can continue to ask. That's not what I asked. What happened? Why are you leaving? It's my father. He's fallen ill. Oh no. Professor Makatova. Okay. Yes. Received an international telegram from the Empire of Japan informing us of the news. Yes. Ten days ago, father collapsed with a fever, and the cause of apparently um, is apparently unknown. And it seems he's growing weaker by the day. I don't believe it. As you are aware, the voyage from here to your capital city of Tokyo takes takes some 50 days. I taught. I thought it would be prudent to hasten Mr. Sala's departure as much as possible. Yes, absolutely. I will leave one in first thing tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. I can't believe this is happening. I don't believe it either. Nina's trial. Gina has been charged. She'll have to appear in court. Yes. She was formally charged in a few hours ago, and then the date has already been separated. No, not even 24 hours later. Gina. Ah, the last tried girl at the murder of the baker's pawn shop, yes. 
and, and a transparent, transparent case. The pickpocket was clearly disturbed mid robbery and shot the man back. Oh, the yard! Oh, the yard is overstretched as it, without wasting time in the open and shut cases. Not wasting time, Jeannie. What? That? Oh boy. It's an auto. Yeah, yes. It's an auto. If you're in the defense of your fine service, they also overlook the girl's intellect. But I have no recollection of admitting the child's office to leave now. Oh, of course, Lord of the Criminals will tell the most palpable lies in order to survey justice. Police can afford guard ill before. We have more serious, serious matters to which to contend. Serious matters? Didn't Gregson mention something like that yesterday? Yes, Inspector Grayson made a similar remark yesterday. It's no concern of yours, though I'm sure I need to argue that. Three minutes precisely until the next meeting. You must excuse me. There's just one more thing on the watch. What is it? Is Miss Lestrade's trial? I wonder if they permit me to defend her. I tell I suggested. Sorry. The girls currently has no representation. But, but that's not fair. Yeah, she may be a paper out but she doesn't deserve a fair trial. Do not misunderstand me, young lady. The government provides those t to the poor to afford representation of the public defender. But the case use is needs to sign a relevant paperwork and the defense barista will be assigned to the court case. However, the young one refused to decide that right. Why'd she do that? A question you'll have to directly ask my sister. You'll find her local prison. Yes, thank you. Well then, it's time for I was leaving. Good day to you. Mm-hmm. We just talked to her about What a day. Gina's charged with murder. It's as hard as on is about to leave. Come, Mr. Naru. Iris, we must make haste. But, Susie... You're leaving for Japan tomorrow morning, aren't you? Don't. You have to be back in things, too, Lou. As my does the justice system, then my personal circumstances has no consequence. My sole provider remains to help you whatever it means, the way I mean it can. Thank you, Mr. Zotto. Oh, that's the best of all. I think we ought to visit Gina first. In any case, we should wish her well before I leave. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Uh, I'm honest, this has completely thrown me off. I had to do what I can as a lawyer. Head back here. She's gone. Uh, Gina. Oh, Logan, Gina. Oh. Something I like to ask, say. What? I'm sorry to say that I must reluctantly bid you farewell. What? Uh, farewell? Tomorrow I'll be being on my journey back home to Japan. I fear I might never meet again. Oh, right. I had the pleasure of meeting so many people in London. I have so many wonderful memories. And yet, things stand now. 
I will be able one um, one party for hours is a minute so miserable. Susie Well well in it you both Iris and Mrs. Nora to believe in you. For instance, Gina. They put their faith in you, but somehow you can't find your heart to put in your faith in them. Ah, uh, that's right, I can't. What of it? It grieves me to have to say goodbye to a friend when they're clearly unhappy. Because of you. Uh, what? What? Yes. I have some one final quest for you. I'm right here, right now. I wanted to show you both that you don't deserve the faith they fested in you. Eh? Only by knowing that will you truly not be able alone to claim as you claim to be. What are you talking about? What do you expect me to do? You told, told us everything is a lie. lie. So prove and admitting your own untruths. What about now, Jeannie? You said something about unforgivable lies. Nice. You must the truth now. That's the last quest before my last quest of the Jesus. Oh, I can't. Whatever the lies they are, they're obviously weighing Gina's mind down. Gina, I could be wrong, but is it something to do with what happened two months ago? Something about the trial? That trial? And one was Miss McGannis was acquitted. Ah, uh, the case of the mysterious murder that took place inside the omnibus. You were called to the witness stand by the prosecutor. Is that what it's about? Yeah, you're right. Because in that trial, I lied. I lied to you. You wouldn't believe. Oh, you tell us about it now. I have a bad feeling she's about to say something really bad. It's all two months ago. Like you said, it all happened two months ago. The coppers got me, got on me, and shoved me to the witness stand. And based on your testimony, Mr. McGill was declared innocent. Yeah, well, the thing is, I lied about a whole bunch of stuff. I knew it. What sort of things you lied about? I was in under that seat, right? That was the truth. He... Oh, was he really? It was a bad... I couldn't see in and then... I heard a loud thud. Something falling on the floor. That's when Mr. Mr. Gill discovered you. Yeah. You pulled me under the seat and sat next to me. To the damn head. There weren't much light. When I looked at it, I was a cover of blood in my arm. So I was scared. I couldn't speak. He had, he had blood on his hand. On your hands. In other words, it was Gina that was a witness to the other foot deck saw the sky. Then, Mr. Gillis stated to me a question as was, Who are you and where are you, why are you hiding under the seat? Yeah, I did. Only that's not all. What do you mean? I mean, he threatened me. Threatened me how? Uh-oh. He made me swear about what I've seen and what i heard. About what I was gonna have, he was gonna do if he ever come and found out. The cover was dead. He made me swear I didn't tell no one of any of it. I did that. He said to let me scrape her before the cops showed up. He was really the one behind it. Gina, you must tell me why you swore to see me about. What you saw, you heard anything? What you saw? You said Mr. Gilded so made you swear you tell him what you saw, but you were in the pitch back apartment under the whole time, weren't you? Uh, yes, it was Mr. McGillard. Sitting above you, head, if you, if I remember correctly. 
Yeah, that's true, but it was when I heard the thud of the cove lived in the floor let me hear the little scream. I could see how what help felt it. As my girl heard the uh it dragged me out by my arm. Arm. That's when I saw it. It was on the floor. The old geezer had been stabbed. At this all brought all bright and shiny. A, a disc! Oh boy! Do you mean? Yeah, that's it. The what? The one what? The deed took off of me in one bank. The music disc was there on the floor on the omnibus. Not for long, Mr. McGill had spotted it right away. He picked him up, the smartest stuff in the pocket. And though that disc was an omnibus two months ago. At the scene of the crime, Mr. Mason's murder. <sighs> and above, uh, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, if I weren't mother and one, I meant no one. How have you heard? Because it was so dark in the seat of the cab, I started to hear, uh, I was starting to hear my ears the whole time. After a while, the door of the footsteps inside the cabin. Presumably, Mr. McGill was on the bot getting on the bus. No, nah, not only, only him. Oh, because it was, I could definitely make a full steps of two people. Oh, in that case, it would seem likely that Mr. McGill is the victim. Mr. Facebook. In his testimony during trial, Mr. McGill claimed he slipped on the car tire. He... Well, yeah, I'm already hating this guy already. And your testimony, you supported this. All I could do was hear the Irishman snore. Yeah, that weren't exactly true. Neither of them were asleep. I could hear him talking the whole time. And no voice. What? What? What are they talking about? Sorry, I don't know. The sound of the, of the oars and the wheels are too loud. But still, that still tells something. I saw Gil and the victim knew each other. I saw Gil was lying, as I suspected, and I suspected that too. After the event. I knew it weren't gonna be long, take long before that someone could raise the alarm and that the bloke had been killed. Yes, you were quite right. The other passengers on the roof was that very quickly. So when the cab came to a stop, Mr. McGill had told me to hide back and underneath the seat. I climbed in and waited to c the t You and Mr. Fairfield. You and Mr. Fairfield was first. Alright, and after they're gone, Mr. McGill had asked the driver to do him a favor. A favor? Now then, Philip, what I need you to do is take this coat and mine and deposit it in your book home. And for your troubles, let's see now. I, right, I'll give you 10 guineas. A nearby pawnbroker? You mean Baker Street? Yep, you got it. It was the money banks. Money banks. The coat snapped, snapped up the money and ran off of the pops. The coat was hit. Well, the last one, he left me. No one left on the carrot. Smith the carrot opened the box on the seat and let me get out of there. But without. Not without conditions. I see. Conditions. What were Mr. McGillan's conditions then? Or letting you free of me? Not telling you a soul, not for anything. But when I saw what I've heard, and there was something else. Well, there was more? Yeah, this is the most important thing, they said. I'm after. 
after a Sydney, a coachman after a little errand for me, with some small change in his hand. Now then, did you hear what I'm at? What I asked him, Dina? Did you hear anything at all? You asked him the problem, the weasel. Hi. Yeah. Right. Then the feeling when taken over about the deposit with the pawnbroker here whereabouts. I want you last the redeem take the redemption ticket for it. Do you understand? What? Do you mean want me to have a ticket? That's right, I'll come to fetch it later. Sometime within the next two months. Just hang on. It's clear is that clear? What do you say? Do you want to Alright then. In that case, I might happen to be delayed after all. But I'll first say, we go to the pawn shop in Wendy Banks, and you're, and you're to extend the loan. About two months is up. If you forget the article, it will be forfeited, and any fiend would uh, come along and buy it. But, but, but I ain't got nothing to buy. I have five pounds. Here's five pounds. There should be enough. You understand these are the last. Don't try anything funny or you go against me. Yes, I get it. But, uh, one more thing. In a few days from now, you'll be visited by the police, I have no doubt. The copper? I. Uh, they come asking that the stand testify as a witness. Just let them chat in the session. What do you say? What do you want? Oh, wow. She had no choice. Picked it. As far as going, there's good. I had pawnbroker business near when I seen. Went to fetch it the next day. It got dark. So Miss McGill had planned it. The course Gene had to give him false testimony. I lied in that big old courtroom. I told him. The thing is... The thing is... He said it would have made it so we couldn't we could live on the Easter end uh, no more. That would have threatened me with... What a wicked man. He knew everything what uh, slums. He knew he had not had no one to look after us. And we all just looking out for each other getting back today. You you mean Mr. Gull would have in a heartbeat but he would have um uh, had a lot of us chased out there if he wanted. And then there would have gone if we got none gone, eh? Nothing worked. Oh, I didn't have no choice. Thank you, Gina. Telling us everything. But I'm I'm in for it. Eh? Go on a minute, yeah. You, you can make amends for doing a simple favor. Sign a resentment tomorrow. <laughs> if you don't actually want me to represent the court you can whip it out later, but we need the paperwork. We can't, or we can't investigate the police to let us. What? The scene of the incident last night, Mr. Solomon was shot. You see? What? You, what? Early happened on a big operation right now, Tina. It's, is it that bad? Is he gonna be all right, Mr. Solomon? It's gonna be all right, right? That's why I want to investigate for Mr. Solomon's sake and as much as anything. Alright. So what you're saying, if I sign a paper for everyone to be happy, is that right? Something like that. This is all? Yes? Of course. I have everything papers here. Stick up for me, though. No lawyer or nothing. Or 
because you need to see so lonely. Well, at least we should be able to investigate um, at Linux now. Yes. And perhaps we can buy a visit when we're done here. I feel like we're finally... We finally cracked Gina. She opened up to us at least. Uh, whatever. And now I have her representation papers. No one else just knows, knows just what responsibility is that. Anyway, for the main, that means um, to, to stop us from uh, that saving with banks. Although something tells me he's not going to be happy about it. I don't think so either. And I think this is a good time to call it at a stream. Yeah, it's now is a good time to call it a stream. Mm. Mm. All right, guys. I'll continue tomorrow. Oh, um, oops. I'll continue tomorrow. Um, tomorrow will be part four of the investigations. Um, oh boy, we got a lot of going for this one. With that said, I'm, I'm Gunnels3. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. This time I will do it tomorrow. Oh. All right, catch you guys later.